Oh my gosh. Okay. So, so many cool things going on in that song. Hello, Anilcio. Um, I'm Amanda and I am here to react. Okay, so I don't actually know um, who this is, so I'm going to react to it. Uh, all I see is he's back, 30, um, and then the rest is in Korean, which I can't read. So, <laughs> okay, so I don't even know what I'm getting into, but here we go. It's very sultry. I really like the bass in it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, so many cool things going on in that song. Okay. So from what I've gathered, there's like a fusion of different genres going on there, like a very minute of pop music, but there was also a lot of like jazz, like that sultry jazz mixed with some soul and blues, especially with him like plucking the guitar and a little bit of like folksy stuff. So there was a, what I like about like that is, um, you know, different types of music invoke different types of emotion. Um, and I actually, you know, even though I, I love like K-pop and things like that, um, when it comes to American music, I don't like a lot of pop music because it sounds the same and um, it's not catchy to me. And so this is definitely kind of more of that indie vibe that I love, like I love the American indie scene. Um, some of my favorites are uh, Raconteurs, um, I also love Nick Cave and the Bad Seas and Tom Waits and some of those can be really experimental and I like that so the fact that he mixed genres and things like that and he could just, he just pulled it off and he was fun to watch. Um, like it's very hard, like you can be a good singer and you can be good technically good at what you do but if you're not a performer and you don't feel those emotions then no one's really going to want to watch you and you can he definitely invokes like emotion and i would hear more of his stuff if i can find out what his name is okay so that was my reaction thank you guys and i will talk to you later bye